gentlemen. Now Garcia getting a little more liberal with the punches. Getting, getting aggressive. He needs to watch out for a right hook with that aggression. Campbell has a nice right hook over the top. He's still really flat-footed in this round. I keep going back to that, but he's planting his feet and he's looking to land that one big shot. Right, right. Actually, Ryan Garcia always has fought flat-footed. That's his style. He's a flat-footed fighter, but he has such fast hands that he gets away with it. This is when he can tee off, and that's what he does. You can see that Luke is just waiting to catch him with one punch. But I love the way that Garcia reacted after that knockdown, and now he won this third round with the aggression coming forward, getting the respect back. And with that bell to end round three, we send it back over to England. Gareth, Josh, Ricky Hatton, and Gareth Davies. Joining us from England, DAZN, live around the world now. Hope you're enjoying this, our main event, Ryan Garcia, who was dropped in the second round, back on his feet, and seemingly has his confidence back. You know, one of the questions I had coming in was, how would Luke Campbell look just about a month or so after the COVID diagnosis? Luke Campbell said his symptoms during that time were pretty mild. Said he felt a mild cold for five or six days back and forth training after the two week isolation. He actually said he felt pressure getting back in the gym after those extra days off. This fight is supposed to take place at the beginning of December. Instead, we get it the second day of 2021. Thanks to everyone joining us. That was borderline low. You all right? That's what happens in sickness. When I was in camp making weight and I would get sick, sometimes once that sickness passed, I would feel stronger, like the body reset and rejuvenated. Good body shot right there by Campbell. Get into the body with the left hand, goes Luke. Aside from the jab, that's Campbell's best weapon is his body punch. Oh, right hand, and that affected Luke a little bit. Now he's starting to sit down on punches again. Garcia looking for a right hand now. He sees that the left hook wasn't landing. Now looking, getting really aggressive with that straight right, which is another weapon against the left-hander. You can just see with the body, Luke much more relaxed in there, bouncing a lot more than Ryan. Because he's been here before. He's been... He's been on this stage before, and for Ryan Garcia, as talented as he is, he needs to experience this for the first time. Ryan answers back. All in all, though, Garcia handled the aftermath of that knockdown pretty well. Yeah, he did extremely well. Got up, survived the round, came back, and Mike Hart won that third round. Is doing good work for most of this. Beautiful move right there by Campbell. Pivoting away, not getting away too far. Coming right back at Garcia. And yes, I agree. How Ryan Garcia reacted to that big punch. It wasn't a flash knockdown. He got rocked. He got up and fought back harder. What are you sensing here, Chris? Look, Garcia looks comfortable out there. He took that big shot, he went down, he got up, but he's looking confident. Luke Campbell, he's taking some heavy shots. He's blocking them, doing well defensively, but he's, Garcia's throwing some big shots. I think they're both looking confident. Ryan Garcia just quick. Oh, and he got caught coming in again to Garcia. One of those quick little one-inch punches you were talking about, Sergio. And you could tell they worked on that in the gym, not to swing that hook wide. It's nice and short that's going to catch the faster fighter. That's timing, Chris. That's what I was telling you about speed. That's how you beat speed. You beat it to the punch with timing.
Garcia trying to reset now. Round five scheduled for 12. The possibilities are endless with a win here for Ryan Garcia. As for Luke Campbell, a win for him, and he believes he gets another world title shot immediately. Not a lot of head movement from Garcia in this fight either, presenting something of a stationary target. Garcia, two things that you touched on. He's never been much on head movement, never been much on fast feet. And, and, and that's the reason because he has so, so fast hands. His hands are so fast, he doesn't need to move that much. Power punches through round four. 42 landed for Garcia, 28 for Campbell. But of course, Campbell known for his jab, so Garcia was pretty much always going to land more power shots. And just as I say that, a power shot thrown from Campbell. More foot entanglement. It's the battle of the front foot when it's the southpaw and an orthodox fighter. Power shots right in line with Garcia's numbers under Eddie Reynoso. 45% through those four fights, power shots landed for Ryan Garcia. Really haven't seen Garcia sit down and unleash a big, heavy flurry in a while. A good, good punch right there by Garcia. Straight left. Campbell took that shot well. Yeah, it got his attention there. The reason we haven't seen Garcia unleash, like you said, Todd, is because Lou Campbell is using ring generalship. If anyone doesn't understand what ring generalship is, you're seeing it right now. We're not letting Garcia plant his feet to get that power, that speed. Oh, and there's a nice little flurry for Campbell, or for Garcia, rather. Beautiful combination by Garcia, not falling off balance, all with speed. Has Campbell perhaps gotten a little complacent after that knockdown? Seems like Garcia is winning these rounds. No, I think Campbell is looking for that same short right hook again. So this was a good round. Oh, he's good round. Over the left hook right at the bell, and Campbell was ready to go down. And that's Garcia's back. Right on the temple, and that's that instinctive left hook that Ryan Garcia is known for. Now it's time for Campbell to show that. We're in Texas, and this has become an old Western shootout. Ryan Garcia knows he's got Campbell a little bit weakened here. He's letting his hands go. The crowd is rising up. Campbell's corner told him, get your composure. Find your legs. Stick and move. It's all basically code for survive at this point starting around. Garcia can't be all... Guns and glory, though, we saw earlier, Campbell has that one punch that can put him on his backside. Yes, he does, but look, this is the thing about fighters like Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya. They're pretty boys with a mean streak, and they go after the knockout when they have their opponents hurt. And in between that flurry right there, looked over at the corner, Ryan Garcia with Canelo Alvarez sitting right behind them. All of them basically put their hands up, telling Ryan Garcia to relax. Don't get too aggressive. Garcia looking for that instinctive check hook again. And Campbell is aware of that. That's why he's not committing to those jabs. Good cross, a right cross from Campbell running in. This there is Canelo Alvarez, Ryan Garcia's training partner and his friend. Watching him throughout this, he's invested in this fight. This has not been the type of fight many people expected it to be, but it has delivered from an entertainment value. Fantastic way to kick off 2021. And this is the, the thing about these, these pretty boys, these Sugar Ray Leonard's, these Oscar De La Hoyas. We want to see how they react when they're hurt. We want to see how they react, react when they hit the canvas. Ryan Garcia reacted like a mean, mean fighter. And you can't teach killer instinct, Todd. So what does Campbell need to do to collect himself and go back on the attack? I think he's doing it. He's fighting with a smart power jab right now, not staying in front of Garcia. Garcia found a home for that straight right hand. There's 
with that check hook right there. And it was the second time this round Garcia tried to time Campbell coming in with that left hook. And this is not where Campbell wants to be. Oh, and he got a straight right hand off the ropes to land on Garcia's jaw. That left hook, I was, I was, it reminds me of a rat trap. That left hook of Brian Garcia. As soon as Campbell or any opponent tries to come off the front door, it just snaps instinctively. Round seven, what an event this has been so far. If you're just joining us, Luke Campbell knocked Ryan Garcia down. Garcia, though, has come back like a true champ, even though he's not one yet, and nearly put Campbell down in round number five. And here we are in the seventh. Chris, how do you have this scored right now so far? Look, I think Garcia has been in control and won every round except the round in the second that he picked up the knockdown. As you said, he recovered nicely from that knockdown. has come back, put a lot of pressure on Luke Campbell, landed a lot of big shots. He's been very successful the first half of this fight. And that resilience, Chris, comes from, from instinct. Nice right hand right there by Garcia. It's instinct. You don't know how you're going to react. And he, I'm telling you, he passed the test right there. That's one mean pretty boy in Ryan Garcia. We saw Chris Mannix's scorecard. What does Gareth Davies say? Well, Garcia's really the aggressor in this fight, but Campbell's shown all his boxing skills. He stayed in there brilliantly after being horribly hurt at the end of that round. I've got Garcia just a point ahead. There's so many of the, these rounds are close, but I do really think that Luke Campbell needs to start pressurizing uh, Garcia back for me to get back in this fight. I see uh, Ryan Garcia winning rounds, except for that, that second round, like Chris mentioned, but I could see what, what Luke Campbell winning these some close rounds. But right now, Ryan Garcia is in control, and you can see the way his body language is reacting, coming forward with no respect. Eddie Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, your young body shot. He goes down. Bernard Hopkins knocked out Oscar De La Hoya with a vicious body shot. That body shot looked just as pretty. Campbell was able to get up from Lomachenko's body attack, but not from Ryan Garcia's body attack. Was he more style than substance? That was the question asked before the fight. What's the answer? He is all substance. He took a hit. He went down, he fought like a champion, and he knocked out a fighter that has faced top competition and has never been knocked out before. We've seen fire and ice from both fighters. More brighter, a bigger star from Ryan Garcia. Meet the future of boxing. It's Ryan Garcia. Are you watching Tiafimo Lopez? Are you watching Tank Davis? Are you watching Devin Haney? Shikuru? You got it. You got to go down to learn how you're going to react getting up. The future and the present. Embrace in the ring. A Mexican legend and a Mexican-American faced adversity. What would happen if he got knocked down? All those questions were asked tonight. Every one of them would have been asked. And Matt Campbell was feeling right here. Paralyzed. He was paralyzed. He could have possibly got up, but the legs refused. The will refused because it was only going to get more painful for the experienced Cool Hand Luke. It took two seconds for the pain to get in. And if there was a, if you're thinking maybe Luke's going to get up once he put the other knee down and both gloves were on the canvas, it was the end. And Luke Campbell got up 